Hi, welcome back to my shop. It's great to have you here. You know, about a year ago, oh my Lord, I cannot believe it's been a year, I did an American-Israeli flag table for Masada Tactical. It was part of my guest maker series. My best friend BK came in, we built it, Martin showed up, and it's sitting in Masada. At the end of that video, BK and I looked at each other and we said, you know what could really go well here? A scotch cabinet. There's some real intricacies for this build. Uh, make no bones about it. This is going in a self-defense gym that has a gun shop. So I can't just put a scotch cabinet in there, which is why you're going to see when this is built, it has more of an apothecary uh, medicine cabinet feel with individual cells. They're going to have individual doors and individual locks. That means lots of dado cuts, which means we're going to make a storyboard. Never made one of those before. I'm really hoping by video number two to have some plans put together. I'll offer them up if anybody's interested. Again, thanks for coming along. It's great to see you again. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you like what you see here. Leave me some comments. So that being said, probably wandered all around with my conversation. So what do you say we just get to building? Let's build a scotch cabinet.
So joinery is a thing. I've been using pocket screws with a lot of this, but I don't want to use pocket screws for the legs. I'm just not sure with the amount of weight that this is going to hold that pocket screws are the right answer. So I want to do mortise and tenons. I don't own a domino joiner, right? Not everybody has one. I mean, you know, if you're looking to buy me something, they are kind of cool. Either way, there's a way you can make your own dominoes. That's not part of this video. That was done by the Wood Whisperer. He's got his own video on it. Um, and that's what I did. Unfortunately, my camera, I thought I was recording. So it shows me making the mortise portion. It doesn't show me making the actual dominoes that I made out of some scrap oak I had laying around. So you're just gonna have to use your imagination. In the end, I'm hoping that that's gonna be strong enough. That and glue and pocket screws in certain strategic areas, this thing's gonna be rock solid. It's not gonna move. It's gonna haul the weight um, and it's gonna be around for a long time. So let's uh, get to trying to put this thing together. We've got a carcass and I'm, you know, and I'm really thrilled with how way this thing's coming out. Uh, my first hardwood project um, with the milling and everything. This has been a pretty fun build and I've really enjoyed it. So I hope you come back for part number two um, where we're going to add drawers, a lid and some bling and zing that's Masada Tactical-esque um, because, well, after all, it is going into a self-defense gym and a gun shop area, so we want to pay homage to that, right? Um, hope to have that video out in two weeks, and I hope you come back. Don't forget, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.